Welcome back to Federal Insights, sponsored by NEC Corporation of America here on Federal News Network. My guest today is Benji Hutchinson, Vice President of Federal Operations for the Advanced Recognition Systems Division at NEC Corporation of America. I'm your moderator, Tom Temin. And Benji, let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the corporate world in this whole biometric and recognition and digital transformation area, because NEC itself is changing to kind of morph around what's going on in the market. Absolutely, Tom. We've seen a tremendous amount of investment coming from venture capital firms, uh, private equity, uh, all, all over the place, you know, large firms merging, buying smaller firms. Uh, Silicon Valley has a lot of small startups that are coming. So it's really driving innovation in the space. And so NEC saw a real opportunity to dive in headlong into this artificial intelligence, computer vision, and biometric space, uh, specifically when it comes to the US federal government. So one of the things we're really pleased about is We'll share a little bit of the details. Later uh, this spring, in the spring of 2021, we plan to launch a brand new company focused exclusively on the U.S. federal government, uh, vertical market, and the technologies I mentioned before, artificial intelligence, computer vision, uh, biometrics, but also next generation communications like 5G and also fiber optic sensing technology. And uh, we're really proud and excited to do this. And the reason that we needed to do this is we are a foreign owned company. And so we wanted to mitigate our foreign ownership issues, put up that firewall to give that level of um, security and assurance to the US federal government that we are a trusted partner. So we will have a facility cl a security clearance at the top secret level, and we'll be um, supporting our customers with classified and sensitive work. And uh, we're really excited to see that development take shape. And what you imply, too, is that there is almost a merging of several streams of technology. I mean, facial recognition is one, but remote sensing and machine vision, they all have things in common, but they haven't been really the same technology, different algorithms, but a lot of background types of processes similar. Is that, what, is that what's going on, that there's a, almost a convergence of these technology streams? I think we mentioned one before the break, temperature sensing and facial recognition, for example, in one system. Absolutely. What, what we're going to start to see, as you mentioned, in the past, we've seen facial recognition, individual biometric modalities like fingerprints and iris and uh, those, those sort of standalone technologies merging into one. And an area where we really see innovation is video analytics and being able to process through in an automated fashion all of that data that's coming off of different video streams. Um, and obviously, uh, privacy is a concern, but especially when you're talking about uh, foreign intelligence or for defensive purposes, um, there's a real need to be able to rapidly go through all of that video uh, information and discern what's happening, whether it's through scene processing, post event, or if it's live, if you want to determine what's happening inside the video frame, you see all these algorithms converging into one, uh, one platform, if you will. And so we see a high demand for that. And I think that we're gonna see uh, more of that in the future. And that is driving a lot of the reasons that we wanna develop this new company and really truly focus on these areas. And I'm guessing that video analysis coupled with facial can maybe enhance facial because very often one's characteristics are expressed in their movement, which are unique to each individual. That's how you can tell, say your spouse walking from six blocks away versus somebody else walking. Is that part of all this too? It is part of it. And, um, you know, one of the things that uh, one another example is object detection, right? Um, is there something in the frame that should not be in the frame? Has it been left there intentionally or unintentionally? And, uh, you know, we know that the computers and the algorithms can be trained to see more than the human eye can see. And uh, computers don't get tired, for example. So uh, typically in the past, we've had security guards or intelligence officials or defense individuals sort of watching screens and looking for um, oddities or things of concern. If we can teach the computers and the algorithms to do that for us, uh, we're in a much better place. And especially now that we've got larger and larger volumes of data, it's a real necessity. And in the last couple of minutes we have, maybe talk briefly about the idea of continuously evolving biometrics and artificial intelligence, which implies continuously evolving. Yeah, so um, one of the things, you know, people often talk about artificial intelligence, and that's, that's a generic term that basically just means computers can behave like human beings. They have the ability to sense. But um, 
machine learning and deep learning is really where we've seen a lot of uh, the advancements in these algorithms. And machine learning is the ability to train the algorithm uh, to do better, right? Uh, through using statistics, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, but when you get to deep learning, you can use multiple approaches, a lot more mathematics, a lot more computers to analyze all this visual data and come up with a picture that's a lot more um, clearer for uh, those decision makers. Uh, and so that's really what the industry has been working for, towards. That's what we've been working towards. And these innovations uh, are going to continue. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, when we talk about the NIST tests, the error rates have gone down considerably over the last five years. And that's only going to continue to happen. They're going to get faster and they're going to get more accurate. And we're also going to be able to deal with demographic challenges as well. Um, and uh, that's been a concern as of late. And, and we continue to work on that. And the industry works on that as well. But um, we definitely see artificial intelligence as a capability as a technology capability making a real difference in the biometric space uh, and video analytics. And I think we're going to see more of that. And one real fast question, is this all going to be somehow incorporated into an app on a smartphone? Because they have such great cameras nowadays that law enforcement could go like that and they can solve crime. You know, you know I, one of the things I mentioned earlier is our, uh, our, our platform. Uh, and, and I do think that combination is happening. Uh, it's coming together and it's getting uh, obviously faster, better, cheaper. And so working on those small devices um, is definitely something we should be able to see in the future. All right, exciting stuff. I wanna to thank today's guest, Benji Hutchinson, is the Vice President of Federal Operations for the Advanced Recognition Systems Division at NEC Corporation of America. Thanks for being with me. Thanks, Tom. And I'm Tom Temin. You're listening to Federal News Network. For more on this discussion, visit federalnewsnetwork.com and search NEC.